Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Black Friday to you. It is uh, Thanksgiving as I'm recording this and ain't nothing going on here, you know. My whole family's dead, so I got one aunt in a nursing home and one aunt going somewhere and my son's with his girlfriend. So I'm going to work on this here amplifier today. Now, I have done a lot of preliminary work since the last time you guys were here. In fact, I have created that on-off button knob switch whatever you want to call it I 3d printed that as you can see yeah I know up close yeah but yeah from a distance it looks fine I am also currently trying to match some of this paint I don't think it's going to go very well I think if I end up doing this what I'm gonna probably do is repaint the entire thing and then uh, laser print out uh, new labels for the front if I decide to go that way I don't know if I'm going to not I might just leave it as it is but in the meantime we've gone through uh, like all the jacks for instance they've all been cleaned and surprisingly I have gone through all of these horribly corroded pots and uh, they all work great The volume pot is a little scratchy right here. So we'll see what happens when we get on with it. Now I have removed these two uh, oil and paper caps here. I, I didn't even check them. I mean, just look at them. They're obviously no good. And we're going to replace this with a JJ can cap. I'm currently trying to print out a mount for it, but my printer is misbehaving. So if you look over here at this terminal strip, you can see where I've removed those capacitors there. And I'm going to remove those wires and add in some new clean wire to solder the new capacitors to. And I am also probably going to remove these diodes here they're becoming the rectifier and I'm going to replace them with a couple of big old meaty meaty 1N5408 uh, those should do the job quite nice so if you saw my uh, community post I've also been working on the enclosure so uh, let me take you over there as well So I removed what was left of the old handle, cleaned up the handle mounts. I scrubbed all of the Tolex, get it as clean as I could. And um, up in here, you know, I re-glued where it was coming down. Some of this it looks like it's not liking that glue very much. So I may have to go in there and do that again. We'll see. All right, before I get through... Um, removing and replacing these wires one other thing I don't like that I want to change are these filament heater wires coming off the transformer they should really be twisted to eliminate as much you know noise and crosstalk in the amp as possible so I'm gonna do that now okay I like that much better see now we have the AC filament heater wire coming up over in a twisted pair and directly down on here we really don't want them coming along the outside of the sockets around these other pins like this the way this is done uh, it's not great all right let's try and unsolder some of this crap here I don't know how well that's gonna go all right so I've added some new solder to this one and I'm going to try and add it to the other ones. They've all had a little bit of flux applied to them as well. I mean, it is just really hard to melt this. I don't know, maybe they used silver solder when they built this thing. I can't really tell. I just want to get some nice bloops of... Uh, Good clean solder on here. 
You see, it is it is not even. I don't even want to go. This is a major problem you'll find in working with older equipment. Is it is it has just become so incredibly corroded. And solder needs clean surfaces to work from. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ruby fluid here, which is a really good flux, a really strong flux, but man, it is corrosive and acidic. And you really got to make sure you clean it off when you're done. Come on, baby. All right, is it starting to flow now? Yeah, it looks like it might be starting to flow in there now, finally. And same with the next one. A little solder on there for thermal transfer. Then I just want to get this up in here. Get as much. soldering iron on there as I can now that one went okay that one was no problem let's try this one see how this one does so my uh, my replacement capacitor was shipped out Monday but like I said it's Thanksgiving so I really don't expect to be receiving anything till maybe Friday or Saturday but I am definitely excited I love old amplifiers and I cannot wait to get this one going yeah I don't know This is just some some wicked solder. Okay. These were incredibly difficult to solder. But I have one, two, three new leads in the ground for the capacitor. And we are gone just about as far as we can go until that JJ can cap comes it is going to go right in there with those old caps mounted and I am currently working on a mount for it oops that was the wrong way that is currently being printed so let's uh, take a trip come with me I'm printing this on the uh, Elegoo Neptune for Matt Max, which I had to move downstairs because it's just too big to have up there. And I'm using the camera gimbal to keep things nice and smooth. So here is my uh, JJ can cap mount. Give you a little idea what it's going to look like. So it's got about eight more minutes, and it'll be done printing. What do you think of the amplifier restoration, Miss Dogs? Is that a good thing? Good for dogs? So that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving and you're not spending all of your hard-earned money on your Black Friday shopping. Very cool. All right, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. 
Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.